Welcome to my kingdom of plants, friends. I have officially become a plant lady. Hello, friends. If you are new here, my name is Nikki. I hope that you will consider subscribing. We are so close to 10K subbies. Um, so subscribe. I'm here for you multiple times a week. It's free. I love making these videos. I love reselling. I've been doing it for a long time. Let's jump in. I have two, not one, but two thread up designer boxes, rescue boxes. These are my first ever designer rescue boxes from thread up. I don't know how I got so lucky to be able to get these, but I was just happening to be on the website and they were available. They're not available very often. You guys, I'll leave a link to them down below. This isn't sponsored. I paid for it with my own money. Uh, I just got lucky. So I'm excited. Let's jump in. I did pre open the boxes to, so I don't have to do it on camera. Uh, $120, I already told you that, for seven items. So I calculated it, it comes to like $18 and some change per item. All right, first up, we have a t-shirt. I always butcher the, the name of this brand, so I'm just gonna show it to you. Comme des Garçons, Garçons, whatever. <laughs> t-shirt, it's a size medium. I I always try and tell you guys, I try to say never say never because I've been reselling for so long. I can't remember every single thing I've sold, but I don't think I've sold this brand before. I'm trying to be very delicate with this stuff because I have makeup on my hands. <laughs> I'm just a very clumsy, messy person and I would like to not destroy this stuff, but looks like it's in really good condition. Cute t-shirt. Um, there is a little... It looks almost like a pen mark, a little discoloration on the back, but nothing major. So I'll have to look up comps on this, but that's pretty cool. I love finding brands that I haven't sold before. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it has the security tag on it, on, on it still. Love that. These really aren't that hard to get off. I have a couple magnets that I use, and it's usually pretty easy. I'll leave a link to them down below. I bought them on Amazon. They work great. I just have to remember where I put them because <laughs> I store them with my tools. I have a video talking about all of my favorite reselling tools. If I can remember, I'll link it down below. This is a beautiful Alice and Olivia dress. I've sold this brand many times. I'm assuming this is new. I mean, it looks like it's in great condition, and it still has the security tag on it. This is beautiful. It's backless. Oh, I was gonna say there's some rips on the front. There's like a little window pane stitching, but I don't think it actually is a rip. I think that's just the way the fabric is. This is really pretty. It's a size, did I tell you the size? Size eight. Uh, I just recently sold some Alice and Olivia shorts that I actually thrifted. I think I told you guys about these. I filmed when I was picking these up. Picked them up for $5, sold them for $160. This brand retails for a lot. This dress was probably a couple hundred bucks. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to find comps on that. And I have to get that security tag off. Something fell while I was looking at that dress. We have another t-shirt. This is from the Couples. I've sold this brand a couple times before. Here's what the tag looks like. I think I've sold, The Real Real did take this brand for me a couple months ago and I sold a couple dresses that I found at Crossroads, which is a consignment store. This is a size small. Wonder how much I'll get for this. I like the print. It's kind of looks like flowers or fireworks. And this is very soft and lightweight and it's semi see-through. But I've never sold a t-shirt from this brand, so I'll have to look up comps. I've only sold a couple, was it a dress? They're more, they were uh, rompers, actually. I sold some myself, and I sold like three on the real real. What's this? Ooh, a Gucci bag. Is this real? It's a black Gucci tote. It has the GGs at the bottom. But the straps are not, I don't know, the straps, let me show you up close. They just look a little suspicious. Like, shouldn't it say Gucci there? I don't know. I don't own a Gucci bag. And the leather doesn't feel like very leathery. You know what I mean? 
I'm gonna get this authenticated. Here's the inside. Looks like there's a dust bag in there. Let's see, can I get this? The interiors of all the bags I've received lately from ThreadUp have been impeccable. It's like unreal. It does say Gucci right here, so that's good. Shouldn't there be a serial number or something? And it has no tag that says like leather or anything. So that's suspicious, right? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below. Like, shouldn't it say Gucci on the strap somewhere? The straps look really thin. These gold, the little um, things at the bottom. I don't know. They don't look, well, they don't look that bad. I don't know. I might get this authenticated. I probably will. It does have the Gucci um, dust bag. So we'll see. I don't know. Any Gucci experts? Oh, it does say Gucci here. I'm just noticing that on this little gold part. If this is real Gucci, that is amazing. If it is not, that is amazingly sad. But <laughs> um, follow the reselling Instagram and I will keep you posted and let you know whether or not this ends up being real. I'm going to get it authenticated. Some of you might be screaming at the screen right now, like, Nikki, it's fake or something. Don't pay to get it authenticated, but I can't hear you. I'm going to do it, and then I'll report back. So, yeah, follow the reselling Instagram. I'm trying to get more consistent posting there. I post on the stories daily, um, just updates of things that are selling, what I'm getting up to, life stuff, and then reselling content. But I'm trying to post on the feed more, so I'll update you there. This is Dolce & Gabbana, made in Italy. It's a black sweater crop top. The material tag is kind of faded, so I can't see the material, but I think it says it's wool. It's in really good condition. I mean, it has just some minor, pe pe I, wanted, I was gonna say peeling, pilling. Uh, the tag is in great condition, so this is cute. This is something I would wear. Um, Awesome. I think I'm going to send that back to thread up. I have miraculous, miraculously been able to print labels. So I will send that back to them. Mark Jacobs, uh, flats. These are size 38 and a half. Really good condition. Oh, there is some discoloration. It kind of, I thought that it was a bow, but it kind of looks like a little cat. Look, it has like little eyes and ears. <laughs> It's cute. Cute and creepy. I like it. And whiskers. But there is some discoloration. But I think this part is cloth. I might actually get these professionally cleaned. I don't know. We'll see what my shoe guy is going to charge me. Um, but I'm pretty sure these are worth getting professionally cleaned up. Because I don't want to mess up the, the discoloration here. I don't want to mess up the stripes. We'll see if he can like clean them up for me. And then I'll send these back to thread up. Nice. Those are in really good condition. And then lastly, we have something from Dior. It says Dior on the side here. Will my lights, will my camera pick it up? Oh, there we go. Finally. Dior on the side. Ooh. These are nice. They're really scratched up, though, you guys. Like, the lens part is scratchy. One of you was telling me, was it when I got my Quick Lots palette? I think some of you were telling me like how you can test if you can get it out yourself. Were, were you guys telling me to use like baking soda or something? And also the little nose pad. One of the nose pads is missing. But I'll see if I can get some of the scratches out. That could be risky because these are reflective with the color. I don't know. I'm going to Google and see what we can do. Those are cute though. <laughs> thinking maybe if I could fix them. I know I can get the nose pad easily fixed. I could do that myself or get it fixed. I actually wouldn't mind keeping these. Of course I wouldn't mind. They're Dior sunglasses. Okay, so that was a pretty awesome box in my opinion. Um, a couple things need a little bit of work. The shoes, I'm going to probably get professionally cleaned. The Dolce & Gabbana sweater needs a little deep pilling. Uh, the Gucci bag needs to be authenticated. I'm leaning towards it not being real, but we'll see. And then the Alice and Olivia dress, I just need to get the um, security tag off of. But I'm pretty happy with that. I have no clue about the t-shirts. I'm going to have to 
do some comps on those, but those were in really good condition. All right, next box. Oh, this is so exciting. Marnie, I've sold this brand quite a few times over the years. Um, it says made in Italy, beautiful shorts. These definitely feel like they're linen or 100% cotton. I'm gonna say linen. Oh, they're cotton and linen and they're size 38. I'm tempted to sell these myself. I'm gonna look up comps on eBay and Poshmark and then I'll look up comps on ThreadUp. But I'm leaning towards selling these myself, especially because they're in season. These look like they've never been worn. These are in really good condition, so that's nice. Ooh, we have another dress. This is from Tadashi Soji, size eight. I always wondered, is it Sojai or Soji? I always say Soji. Another brand I've sold mm, in the last two years, I think I've sold like five dresses from this brand. I usually find it retail arbitrage. This is also in great condition. I love this brand because they put the style and the cut of the dress on the tag so it's super easy to find photos of the item. I'm very happy with this. Great size too and wedding season is coming up. We're actually already in it, aren't we? That's awesome. Ooh, some more Dolce and Gabbana heels. These are size 38 and a half. Patent leather pumps. The interior just needs some cleaning and these are good to go. So I'm just gonna clean these up myself and I'm gonna send them back to ThreadUp and see how they do. These are nice, really good condition too. Yeah, they just need some interior cleaning. Even the heel stops are really good. Oh, some of the leather is peeling off of the heel here, but other than that, good. More shoes, Prada. Wonder if these are vintage. These look like they've been around the block, but how cool are those? Green is probably one of my least favorite colors, but, and this is like the kind of green that's like my birthstone. Ugh, I do not like green, but I could appreciate someone rocking these little kitten heels. These need to be cleaned up. Um, the heel stops should be replaced, and then they just need to be wiped down, honestly but I'm gonna take these to my shoe guy. My shoe guy only charges me like 10 bucks for the heel stops. And then I'll send these back to ThreadUp. I could sell these on the real reel, but ThreadUp, well, I can price them a little bit higher. And I think they'll sell once I clean them up. So I have to do a shoe run. I usually go to my shoe guy like once or twice a month and just have him fix up all my finds that I feel like are worth paying for them to be fixed up a little bit and I can still make a good profit. Be careful though, some shoe repair people can be very expensive, especially if you live in a major city. Like I went to one guy and he was gonna charge me like 30 bucks to replace the heel stops on just some, I think they were Steve Madden or something. And I was like, no, you know, at that point it's not worth it. But if you have something higher end like a Prada, or Dolce & Gabbana, even if you have that, look up comps on the shoe, because if it's an older style like these, it still may not be worth it to pay like the 15 bucks for the heel stops and to get cleaned and then resell it, but I'm pretty sure those will be. And I found a great guy who charges me a reasonable price. This is adorable, and this is something I would wear. This is Marc Jacobs Look Made in Italy. So isn't this like the higher end line? I'm pretty sure it is, because I've looked it up before. Um, just a really pretty navy cardigan that buttons and it ties. Oh, this is so pretty. I want to keep it. I want to keep everything. <laughs> um, made in Italy. What size is this? I think it's a size medium. It just says M. I'm going to assume that's a medium. Usually with these, it's like a size 32, 30, like, you know, a number. But I don't see that, but... I will send this back to ThreadUp. I might keep it. Honestly, you guys, this is adorable. This would look so cute in the summer with some shorts and some heels. Definitely the vibe I like to go for for a casual look. DVF, Diane von Furstenberg, I have sold many times. 
it makes me sad because I love a lot of her stuff, especially the popular wrap dresses. They retail for a ton of money, like a couple hundred bucks, but I cannot resell them to save my life for like $50. This is one of those brands that I tell you guys about that I get sad because I personally like the brand a lot and I wish that it held more of a resale value, but it doesn't. But I don't think I've ever sold a shirt, only dresses, and I'm, I'm guaranteeing you this is silk. I like to think of myself as a silk expert and about 70% of the time I get it wrong. <laughs> and it's usually like polyester and I'm like, girl, maybe you're not the silk expert you thought you were, but this is silk. Oh God, I don't wanna touch my face and touch this beautiful silk top. So we're just gonna put this down by the tag and leave it there until I put some gloves on or something. I am so messy, you guys. I can't tell you how many times I've been processing inventory. I touch my face with my brown foundation and get brown foundation all over some high-end stuff. It's just a nightmare, so I'm getting better about that. These are in great condition. Oh, no, they're not. This one's missing a heel stop. But these are Stuart Weitzman. You can tell for sure these are an older style. Um, almost all the Stuart Weitzman I send to the Real Real they take, but especially the older styles, you guys, they do not price them very high. So don't pay up and send it to the real real like these. Cause I told you it's seven items for 120, So it comes to like, let's just say 19 bucks. I would be lucky if the real real prices these at like $50. So I will get the heel put on the heel stop. And I'll send them back to the real real. I'm not sending these to thread up. I'm sorry. I will send these to the thread up, not the real real. And they're a size eight and a half. But like the front of the shoe, the interior of the shoe, impeccable condition. I will look up comps on thread up though, because I haven't I don't think I've sent um Stuart Weitzman to the real real and I keep saying the wrong things. I haven't sent Stuart Weitzman to thread up in like two and a half years. So I don't even know what the max price would be for those on there. So, all right, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, I'm hoping the Gucci purse isn't fake. If that's fake, that sucks. <laughs> but I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make a profit on these even with some of the small shoe repairs I have to get done. So yeah, that's pretty awesome for my first two ever. I do have two more designer boxes coming. So if you guys wanna see those unboxings, let me know. I'm just kinda trying out sourcing um, on ThreadUp. So I won't do this forever, but I just wanna see you know, how much money I can make from doing it because it's super easy for me. You guys know I don't have a bunch of time to source. So if I can get inventory coming directly to my door, it's great, even better if it's designer. So let me know if you wanna keep seeing these unboxings. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm here for you multiple times a week and we're gonna have a really fun 10K giveaway. And we're so close, you guys. The day I'm filming this, I'm filming the day after Easter and we hit 9K subbies on Easter, so we're close. All right, friends, subscribe. I'm sorry if it bugs you. I'm gonna keep bugging you probably forever. Love ya.